Hi there, Sean from Servoy here with our video series, How to Build a Web Application on FoxPro Data. Today I'm going to show you how we can quickly create a screen with a smart grid that shows data from several FoxPro DBF tables. Let's start with a FoxPro DBF data directory. I have some basic tables here and I'm going to connect to these and use them in my web application. I'm selecting the file path to copy paste when I create the data connection. Let's switch over to the Servoy developer environment, where I have pre-built a small application which already has some screens and business objects. It might be cheating, but it makes it easy to add a new screen to demonstrate FoxPro connectivity. Let's start by creating a new data connection. Servoy connects to any data source, including DBF tables and SQL databases. I'll just give my data connection a name and paste the file path into the connection URI. The connection test works, so I will save this connection and close it. We're ready to start building a new form with FoxPro data. First, I'm going to create a new form and give it a name. The form will be data bound and I'm selecting the products DBF table as the form's data source. Finally, I'm going to choose to extend another form that I have pre-built. Much like FoxPro, Servoy favors object-oriented design, allowing both UI and business logic to be inherited, reused, and extended. This will give my grid some extra functionality, right out of the box. Okay, here you can see I have a new form opened up in the form editor. It already has a UI template, which was inherited, and I'll start by overriding the title text label to make it my own. Next, I'll move to the grid component and modify the first column. Each column can be bound to a data source, and for this, I'll choose the product name column from my FoxPro DBF table. I'll set the title header text to appear in the grid column header. Let's add another column to the grid. This time, for the data source, I'm choosing a related field. This is a column from a different table than the grid's primary data source. For this, I'm using a pre-built relation, which is a simple but powerful object to model relationships between tables. I'm selecting the category name from my categories FoxPro DBF table. Rest assured, Servoy knows how to join FoxPro tables together and make sure the data is aligned. Let's add a third column. This time I'll choose the supplier ID, which is a foreign key column to the supplier table. I'm setting a property called value list, which is another simple but powerful data modeling object, which acts as a kind of key value lookup. We'll see it in action in a few moments. But first, let's save this form and arrange to view it in the runtime client. To do this, let's dig into our pre-built demo solution and insert this form into the navigation scheme. I'm opening up some code from my main navigation form. This is the method which initializes the navigation menu. I'm going to copy paste a block of code to add our products table to the menu. Without getting into specifics, it simply specifies the text and the font icon which map to my new form. Servoy uses an intuitive scripting API layer implemented in JavaScript. Don't worry, it's not a heavy browser framework and you don't need to learn DOM scripting. Just pure JavaScript APIs. In fact, we find that FoxPro developers in particular are quick to learn and become productive using this approach. Anyway, let's launch into the browser and preview what we've built. Our example application is launched in the default browser. This particular sample includes a security framework with multi-tenancy and password authentication. Upon logging in, I'll navigate past the dashboard to our product's grid view. You can see the grid component with three columns that we added. As I scroll down, the data from my FoxPro DBF tables is dynamically joined and loaded into the grid. Although this is a sample database, Servoy's robust data binding engine easily works with massive databases and complex schemas. The grid is lightweight and performant and packed with features, as we'll see in a moment. But let's get back to the developer environment and enhance our form. I'm going to add a few more columns to the grid to demonstrate number formatting, searching, filtering, and inline editing. I'm adding the product's unit price column from my DBF. Because it is a numeric column, I can set the format property in the grid. In this case, I'm specifying that the currency symbol from the default locale, in my case US dollars, will be used. In fact, Servoy supports complete localization and language translations throughout your application. 
Next, I'll add the quantity column, and finally, the units in stock, which is another number column in my DBF, so I'll put a format. Okay, let's pop over to the browser again and try it out. Here you can see new columns on the right side of the grid. The unit price is formatted with the localized currency. This grid also comes with additional search and filter components. I'm filtering on the supplier. Remember that I specified a pre-configured value list, so naturally the filter presents a list of records from my DBF. You can see the list itself is searchable. I'll select a few from the top to keep it simple. The grid is automatically filtered based on the results. Next, I'll choose the unit price. You can see the filter component presents differently for different data types, including dates, numbers, text, and value lists. We can also do some free text searching as well. As I type and enter, you'll notice that it intuitively searches across multiple DBF tables and can match string fragments. Typing BEV gives matches from beverages in the categories table. Well, the CHA fragment matches on the product name. And the search is working together in concert with the filter. Oh, and by the way, this is not just searching within the grid results. This is a real deep search in the DBF files, and it works well on tables having hundreds of thousands, even millions of records. You can also edit inline. Here I can easily update the units in stock. Finally, this grid can be grouped. You can see I can group by category, and it supports many levels. In fact, the whole grid can be put into pivot mode, and we can even show dynamic group summaries. Well, I hope that gives you a feeling for how to turn your Fox Pro DBF data into a web application with a smart grid in just a few minutes. And hey, Servoy is the platform to quickly build and deploy complex applications for cloud, web, and mobile. Check us out.